Hello and welcome to PA Academy. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to divide a circle into 12 equal parts. So if you have a circle and you have to divide it into 12 equal parts, how do you go about it? So this video is a part 2 of a part 1 where I you know, showed you how to divide a circle into 12 equal parts using your compass. But this time around, we are not going to be using our compass. We are going to be using our protractor to get this done. So if you are here to subscribe to PA Academy, kindly click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. And, and the bell icon beside the subscribe button so let's get into this video so for this particular part of this video uh, the radius doesn't really matter so in respect of the radius that you are uh, of the circle it doesn't matter so right now I'm just going to be drawing my circle I didn't measure the radius so because unlike in the part one where we had to be uh, to note the radius of the circle and this method is also important if you have a circle where uh, whereby you don't know the radius or the radius is not given so instead of you to start trying to get the radius of the circle so you can apply this method to get the center of your um, to divide your circle into traffic parts sorry all right so I've just done my circle so the next thing to, for me is to draw my diameter so now I have my diameter let's call it a B So now let me bring it my protractor. So I'll place my protractor, make sure you place your protractor properly on, on the diameter. So what you do is at 30 degrees interval, you may note the point at 30 degrees interval. So that would be at 30. So at another 30, that's 60. Then 90. At another one, that's 120 plus another 30, that's 150. So now I've noted all those points. So this is it. This is this is one, two, three, four, five. So just note those five points. So the next thing is very simple. So just pick your, your ruler. You draw a line from those points to pass through the center of the circle. Like this. So you go to the next point. So from the circumference through the center of the circle to the other part of the circumference. So this is the fourth point that we marked. So from the circumference through that point, through the center, to the other parts on, this, uh, on the circumference of the circle. So with this now you can see we already have our circle 12 equal parts. So if you are to number it, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So we already have 12 equal parts in one circle. So this is how you go about it. You can either use this method or you use the other method that I showed in the other video. Meanwhile, I'll leave a link in the description. So if you are just coming across this video and you did not see the other parts, just check the description of this video. You'll find the link. So that is it for this video. If you find this video helpful, can you give it a thumbs up? If you are yet to subscribe to PA Academy, uh, please click on the subscribe button below to help this channel grow. Also, make sure you click on the little bell icon beside subscribe button so that you get notified when next I release another video. And if you want more videos like this on technical drawing, just check the playlist on technical drawing. There are a lot of videos there uh, on different aspects of technical drawing, engineering drawing, and then I believe they will be of help to you. So if you also have a video request, just leave them in the, quest, I mean, in the comment section below or any question for me. Just leave them there. You can also check out our website, paacademy.co. That is paacademy.co. And I'll see you all in another video. Thank you.